Hey, welcome back to the channel. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future updates. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes. Everything mentioned in this video is allegedly. Now let's get right to it. This migrant situation is totally out of control. The United States has got to do something. Bloomberg News is reporting that New York City is spending $8 million a day to house migrants. Meanwhile, there are homeless Americans sleeping on the streets of New York, which is an ongoing and sad situation. But the state is running out of money and room. It's the irresponsibility of the White House for not uh, addressing this problem. The mayor of New York, Mayor Adams, tried to house some of the migrants in school gyms and the locals went off. They took to the streets in protest. From Sunset Park we want our gym back. We want our gym back. to Williamsburg, parents rallied outside PS 172 and PS 17 after learning asylum seekers could possibly be housed at their children's schools. Give them your home, Mayor Adams. Open Gracie Mansion, you give them your home. New York and many other states are really in crisis mode and the migrants keep coming and coming. And to make matters worse, the male migrants were moved from the Watson Hotel in New York to a mega shelter at the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. But some of them went back to the hotel to protest the move. They said the Brooklyn Cruise facility had poor conditions and the cots were too close together and they had little privacy. The situation is sad and pathetic. The White House needs to handle this situation ASAP. A lot of these states are already struggling, but to have busloads of people pull up and some without any notice is too much for any city to handle. Are we playing politics with people? We've got to come up with a solution to care for the migrants that are here now but put the brakes on new migrants crossing the border. And that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What more can the White House do to get this situation under control? And as always, thank you for listening. Until next time, be blessed.